Sit comfortably in Sukhasan. You may use a pillow underneath you for support if you wish. Bringing one hand to your heart and one to your belly, close your eyes. Listen to the sound of your body, your breath and your growing baby. Tune in to the sound of your breath. The connection to a healthy birth is through relaxation. So breathe in a way that's relaxing to you. You are now breathing for yourself and your baby. Keeping the concentration on your breath Bring your hands to your knees. Palms face up, thumbs and index fingers touch. We are now going to do pelvic floor exercises, also known as Kegels. On inhalation, pull your pelvic muscles up, drawing them all the way to the top and gently release them on your exhalation. Visualize riding an elevator Draw your muscles upwards for one, two, three. Hold at the top and then exhale, softening. Again, inhaling one, two, three. Squeeze and relax normally. One last time, being mindful to relax all other muscles while isolating only the pelvic muscles. Exhale and relax down. We do pelvic muscle toning for a healthy childbirth and recovery. When you're ready, bring your hands to your heart center. In prayer position. Setting the intention for your practice. And then bringing your hands to your third eye, the pituitary gland. Your seat of intuition and wisdom. From here, we will place our hands down onto the knees, palms face down, beginning pelvic circles. If you feel the need to create more space for your belly, bring the soles of your feet together. As you inhale, start to rotate yourself to the right. Big inhale, and as you exhale, move back, good. Again, inhaling, moving forward, as you exhale, push the hips down into the earth. This exercise warms up the spine, creating fluidity and opens out the hips. Last time in this direction, inhaling and exhaling. Good. And then switching directions. Dancing with the baby starting to awaken and warming up. Good. Last time, inhale and exhale. Moving into spine flexations. Inhaling, shoulders drop, heart opens. Exhale, opening up to the back of the heart, chin drops. Good. Inhale and exhale. Last one like this, inhale coming forward, exhale moving back. On your next one, inhale, right arm reaches up, fingers are spread, exhale coming down. And now the opposite arm, and exhale, inhaling reaching up. This movement helps create more space for the baby and strengthens the arms. Inhale both arms now, reaching up and open, beautiful. Exhale and down. Inhaling and exhaling. Last two, opening up the heart center to all knowingness. Last one, inhale, good. And relaxing down. Beautiful. Extending your legs in front of you for ankle and wrist rotations. Encouraging blood circulation and the balance of blood flow and then reversing the movement. 
being mindful of staying with your breath. Moving into Marjari Asana, so removing any pillows or props you were using. Coming forward onto your hands and knees, being very mindful that your wrists are underneath your shoulders and your knees are comfortably apart. As you inhale, looking up. As you exhale, tucking chin to chest and rounding. Again, inhaling, looking up, heart opens. Exhaling and rounding. Connecting to the baby, allowing the baby to dance in the amniotic fluid. Exhale. As you inhale, bend your arms slightly at the elbows, taking the pressure off your wrists. Last two times, inhale, opening the heart, chest and throat. Exhale and rounding. Last one. And exhale and round. Now find a neutral spine, bringing elbows down to the earth. Move your knees back till comfortable. Placing your third eye down onto the mat. Join your palms in a namaste, bringing your hands over your head and hold. Find the position that is comfortable for you. You can also place a pillow under your forehead. This asana opens up your lymphatic glands, which brings harmony and balance to our internal system. Imagine your breath touching every cell of your body. Good. Coming up so that your forearms are now resting on the mat. Elbows are underneath your shoulders. We're going into leg lifts or Vyagrasan. Inhale, raise your right leg up, spread the toes wide, nice active foot. Exhale, drawing the knee under, tucking chin to chest. Your center of gravity changes through pregnancy. So stabilize yourself and be careful not to move beyond your range of comfortable movement. Good. Inhale and exhale. One last time. Raise your leg nice and high. Squeeze and then dropping it in, tucking chin to chest. Switching sides. Inhale, spread the toes. Exhale, tuck chin to chest. Inhaling and exhale. Try to be really fluid with the movement. Lovely. This asana strengthens the back and opens up the leg and hip joints. Last two. Last one, squeeze and lift. And exhale slowly. Coming down into child's pose, surrender to the earth. You can rest your hands and palms on top of one another. Resting your forehead on the top of your palms. Nice big breath, inhale to the back of the body, really breathing in. Exhale, soften the hips. Feel free to take any sighs or yawns here, allowing this to feel good. Focus on big inhalations and long exhalations. When you're ready to come up, come up on your hands again. Extending the right leg out to the side, lift the arch of the foot. Inhale, raising the right arm up, opening up, being graceful and beautiful. Exhale and rounding through. Good. Inhale and opening. Simultaneously working the left arm while exhaling through. Again, inhale and open up your chest. Exhaling, nice, gentle, soft twist. Inhaling and exhaling. Take nice long breaths and breathe into any of those areas that feel really tight. Inhale, we're going to lift the arm up and then as you exhale, getting into the rotator cuff, bowing down and stretching forward. Lovely. One cycle of breath here. And then come up on your knees. 
If you wish to take the weight off your wrists, you can perform this exercise with your elbows down on the floor. Extending the left leg out now. Again, inhaling, left arm opens up. Exhale and through. Good. Allow this to be a dance breathing into every cell of your body. As you inhale, open up to any intention that you set. As you exhale, release any doubts or fear or resistance. Inhale, breathe deep and exhale. Last one, inhale and then as you exhale, rotate and down. Surrendering but opening up into the left side, good. Coming into restful pose or child's pose once again. Good. Drink in the fullness of your breath as it is nourishment for all your and the baby's needs. Slow the heart rate down. Coming up to standing on your knees, moving slowly and mindfully. Standing on your knees, Inhale your arms up and as you exhale, bring your hips down towards your heels. Again, inhale. Good. And exhale down. Inhale, opening up to positive vibrations. Exhaling and coming down. Again, inhale. And long exhale, bowing down into your intention. Inhale. This exercise really strengthens your quadricep muscles, as well as elevates the heart rate, pumping blood to the entire system. Last time, inhale. And exhale, bringing hands in a namaste to the heart center. Breathe deep and slow the heart rate down. One, two, three. Coming up again on your knees, extend your hands out to the side for side stretches. Inhale and exhale down to the other side. Inhale. And exhale, moving fluidly like a dance. This is a moving meditation. Opening up through the intercostal muscles, making space for your baby. We want to bring fluidity into our practice when we're pregnant. We're filled with lots of water in the body, so move like you're moving with the ocean. Again, inhaling and exhaling, swaying like a tree. Finishing, inhaling, bring your hands to your heart and sit back down in Vajrasan. One long inhalation, moving into Adhomukshwanasan. Palms come to the top of the mat. Toes are tucked, lifting the knees off the mat, hips come high. Melting the heart into the shoulders. This is a dynamic movement. Inhaling, coming up to the top of your toes and exhaling, pressing your heels down. You should feel the stretch on the back of your thighs and calf muscles. Good. Last two, coming up, up, up. Exhaling and pressing down. Last one, inhale and exhale down. Walking your hands to the back of your mat, take your time. Rolling up, using your hands on your legs for support. Come up slowly. Shoulders roll back, heart lifts and the head comes up last. Coming into standing Marjariyasana. Place the palms on the top of your knees, bending the knees slightly. Good. Inhale, dropping the shoulders back, heart opens up. 
exhale and rounding. Good, again, inhale. So good for your spine. And exhale. Make this feel good like a dance. Breathing right into the baby's space. And let go. Last two. Inhale. Last one. And exhale. Rolling yourself up standing, shoulders down and back. We're going to do a moving meditation. So sweeping from between our legs and twisting, exhaling to either side. Inhale and exhale, twisting to the right. Good, again, inhale and twist. Inhale and exhale. Keep on going, good, inhale and exhale. Releasing any fear and doubt. Clearing the path for a great day ahead, good. Powerful breathing. Last one. Inhale and exhale. And bring your hands to your heart center. Feel a strong connection to the earth. A gentle smile on your face. Connect to your baby and breath by placing one hand on the belly and one on the heart. Feel your heart rate slow down. Good, from here, sweeping your arms up into the sky, big breath in. As you exhale, hands come down in a namaste along the center line of your body. Inhale, arms up, connect your strong legs, exhale, tuck chin to chest. Good, again, inhaling and exhaling. You can do this every day. Imagine yourself surrounded in white light. White protective light. Good, again. Breathing straight down into the baby's space. Nice, big inhale. Cleansing breath. Two more, inhale. Exhale down. Last one. Inhale. And exhale. Pause. Tailbone drops. Legs are engaged. Moving into warrior one, step forward to the top of your mat. Bring your hands to your hips so you feel stable. Stepping the right foot back. Good. Make sure you have enough width and distance, ensuring a feeling of stability. Slightly bend the left knee and bring your arms up so that the elbows are parallel to the earth. In a dynamic movement, as you inhale, bring the torso forward, opening the arms. As you exhale, close the arms in. Good. Once more, inhale and exhale. Inhale, torso moves forward. Exhale, close back. Try to keep the front knee in its position, moving only with the torso. Come down as forward as you can and back. Last two, inhale and exhale. Last one, inhale and exhale, bringing your hands back to your heart center. Open up to warrior two. Inhale, straightening the front leg and exhale, reaching forward as much as you can and placing your hand on your left leg in Trikonasana. Right arm comes up Shoulders are stacked. Look up to the top of your thumb. Make sure your legs are fired up with lots of strength. Hold it there. Breathe deep for one more cycle of breath. Good. Rooting down through the feet. Inhale and come up. As you exhale, sit down into that front knee. Coming into side angle, place your elbow on the knee and rotating the right arm, inhale, opening up like a dance. Inhale, welcoming the stretch, keeping a strong back leg as you rotate gracefully. Inhale, and exhale. 
exhale. Coming into warrior two again, sit down into your front leg, beautiful. And moving now into exalted warrior. Inhale and stretch back. Keeping one hand on the belly, connecting to the baby. Breathing into your inner goddess and all knowingness. Holding there for one more cycle of breath. And releasing. Coming back, staying firm in this position and sitting down into that front knee as low as you can go. Inhale and straighten. Exhaling, place your hands on your hips and heel toe the back foot to the front of the mat, stepping forward to bring your feet together. Turning to the other side now. Stepping the left foot back for Virbhadrasana. Nice comfortable stance, drawing the right hip back and left hip forward. Inhale, elbows up and move forward, opening the arms. Try keeping the legs stable and only moving from the torso. Breathing in as you come forward and exhaling powerfully as you move back. Inhale, strengthening the shoulders. Good. Inhale and exhale. Two more. Last one, inhale, bringing your hands back to your heart. Open up into warrior two. Inhale, strengthening the front leg. Exhale, reaching forward and placing your hand comfortably on your leg. Both legs are straight, shoulders are stacked. Find a gaze that is comfortable for yourself. Opening up and making more space in the abdomen for the baby. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, sit down into the front knee. Knee is in line with a little toe. Place your elbow on your knee. And rotating upwards, open the arm up and down. Inhale and exhale. Release any tension in the upper back and shoulders. One last time, inhale and exhale. Gracefully bring yourself back up to warrior two and exhale down. Getting into exalted warrior, lift your arm up and bend it over your head. Place the other hand on your belly and hold. Come up and sit down onto the front knee again. Get into your hips and open up. Inhale, hands to hips, heel toe the back leg and step forward. Center yourself. Find a connection to the earth and tune into your breath again by placing one hand on baby and one hand on the heart. Moving into squats, place your legs slightly wider than hip distance apart, feet are parallel to each other. Inhale your hands up and exhale bringing your palms down the center line of your body all the way to the ground. Inhale, hands come overhead. Exhale bringing your hips down all the way to the floor. Inhale. And as you exhale, make sure you're pushing into the floor with your palms as you roll up, head coming up last. Bringing your hands down in a namaste. Squats help you keep your strength, toning your inner thighs and pelvic muscles. So love these squats. Inhale to the sun quality of vibrance. And exhale to the moon quality of serenity. Beautiful. For added support under the arches of your feet, you may roll your mat up if you feel the need. Rolling up, keep the chin to chest till you're all the way up. Good. One more. Inhale and bring your hands down in a namaste to your heart center. Good. Moving down to the earth now, inhale your arms up, nice cleansing breath. As you exhale, bend the knees and come through and down, placing hands on the mat. Step back into Adhumukh Shwanasan, staying for a nice long breath. 
and then bring the knees down to the earth. Sitting back down onto your mat. Opening up the right leg, keeping the left foot as close to you as possible. Very good. Inhale, left arm up, and then back down to the other side. This is a nice fluid movement and we don't need to coordinate it to the breath. It's a rhythmic movement and babies love rhythm. So nice repetitive rhythm is key. Opening up. You're nice and warm now, so enjoy the body's natural flexibility. The last one and hold. Roll the top of the shoulder open, opening up the neck muscles. Good. Place your left hand behind you. Come up on your left knee and extend the right leg. Feel a stretch in the right side of your body. Gracefully lower yourself and switch sides. Stretching out the left leg, right leg is tucked in. Bend the right arm, sweeping it over the head. And then drop to the other side. Maintain a steady rocking movement. Enjoy the rhythm of the movement. Last one. And hold. Inhale and rotate the top shoulder. Exhale and raise yourself off the ground. Stretching the arm, hold for a breath. Come down into butterfly pose. Bringing the soles of your feet together. Inhale, raise your arms up, lengthening the spine and opening the arms. As you exhale, bend forward, clasping your feet, feeling your lower back and spine gently come down. Push down with your elbows to feel a nice, good stretch in your hips. And release. This is the end of our routine. We are going to lie down in a final Shavasana. If you feel the need, you can use a pillow between your legs for support and lie down gently onto your side. Stay in Shavasan for as long as comfortable, observing your breath and consciously relaxing your body.